The heavy rain drives me crazy. Can't believe I only have 48 hours here. All the restaurants we're gonna try in these two days basically have more than 50 years of history. First stop is the Zhu Yuan Cantonese noodle place. Check all the celebrities' pictures on the wall. To save room for other restaurants, we're just gonna share one bowl. We order the crab extreme wonton noodle and the salty Cantonese pancake. Only four dollars in total. Can you believe it? So cheap. The salty pancake actually tastes like salty donut. I do love the shrimp crab wonton. You can taste the sweetness of the crab blossom on your palate. So yummy. One bowl of noodle has five, six wonton. We finally found this little place for Xiaomi after working for 15 minutes. It's a snack quite popular among the local people here. And the filling tastes like a mixture of pork and squid. Well, I do love the chewy wrap skin, but nothing really special. You want any fruit? No. Wow, it's full. Cool. Oh, yeah. So interesting. You see, they left one piece of beef and shrimp on the plate to distinguish them. Well, in Shanghai, if it's a chanfen place, usually they will cut it for you, but not here. Chopstick master. It's like the chopstick starts hammering wow. the sword. Look at the layers. Come on. What? Using a spoon as a knife doesn't work? Okay, oh. let's eat it. Okay. Are you sure? Okay. Okay. Oh, look how sharp that spoon is. The essence of good changfen is always about the chewy skin and the soy sauce. This is really good. The Shuang Pi Nai milk custard from Nanxing is the best I've ever had. It's so creamy and rich, but not too sweet or heavy. It's like taking a milk bath above the cloud with angel singing and it's made of water buffalo now we got the lotus root bread and the lao po bread from lian xiang lo lao po means wife in mandarin and it's sweet they also have husband bread which is salty jay has a sweet tooth so you'll definitely see more dessert plates in this video it's really hot and muggy here in guangzhou so we are here to get something cold and refreshing I ordered this papaya stuff and I got a coconut ice cream and I got a thumbs up from the lady. Wow, the coconut ice cream and papaya coconut milk rice is here. Yeah. Okay, stop eating it, give it to me. Come on, give it to me. got a fruit grass jelly rice bowl um, but I really can't find the jelly and the rice we are buried underneath <laughs> hmm. mine is that crunchy you like your fruit bowl? whole street sells traditional Chinese medicine yeah. which is very popular here in Guangzhou. Basically, they use it on a daily we basis. We should buy some home. <laughs> yeah, this is the place. Yep.
Only chicken feet. I am definitely gonna get chicken feet. We know we are. Jay is presenting the way raising dishes before eat in a Cantonese restaurant. So professional. He is gonna explain it again later in this video. <laughs> this is the chicken sticky rice with custard on top. Uh, it's kind of gross, not tasty at all. Do not recommend. Please don't try. And here's the love of my life, Nai Huang Bao. It's a steamed bun. With yolk custard inside. So we have chicken feet, pineapple shaped custard bread, and steamed custard bun, bridal beef and yolk congee, binker vegetable red, and a cow stomach in special sauce on the table. So yummy, yummy. I think we've been here an hour already. No. We got a herb tea, which is... This is a must try in Guangzhou, right? They are proud of their TCM. Oh, it's good for you. Follow the weird stinky smell. We found this river snail rice noodle. So what do you think of the smell? <laughs> the whole floor smells like worse than this. <laughs> it's even worse than total. Okay, this is where the terrible smells come. Okay, take a deep breath and tell me what you think. <laughs> Wait to hear. That is terrible. Smells really bad. <laughs> and it tastes like it smells. <laughs> Come on, it can't be that bad. <laughs> Is it really bad? Put in your mouth. It's pretty good. It actually smells pretty good. And it actually tastes pretty good.
To make up for the baby pigeon we didn't have yesterday. <laughs> Expecting to see 5,000 dead pigeons in this restaurant. Dead pigeon! Oh, so big Check out the 50 ways pigeons die. Lynn is looking to order. We already washed our dishes. You have to wash your dishes when you go to restaurants in Guangzhou. You use hot tea and pour it in this cup first and then put the spoon in and mix it. And then you pour it into here and then you flip the cup over and wash the edges of the cup. And then you put your chopsticks into the bowl to wash that and then you dump the water out into the plate. See how the plate has edges? Then you turn this cup over onto the plate to wash the edges. And then you take this here and then you dump it into there. And that's how you wash your dishes in Guangzhou. Back to Lynn. She's still ordering. Okay, I'm gonna get two kind of goods. Okay. This is how she actually acts around food. She's not acting right now. This is her natural way to react when she's looking at food. Lynn is just dominating this pigeon right now. Remember the duck foot from before? This is the same thing. Entire foot goes in, watch what comes out. Yep, that's all that comes out. She put a whole pigeon in her mouth. And that's what just came out. Seriously, a whole pigeon. Whole pigeon went in. This is mine. I just bit her mouth off of around it. She put a whole pigeon. Another dessert place. This place is called Hundreds of Flowers because they have more than 400 options of dessert. Holy moly. Yeah. Uh. So actually they pre-made all the dessert and when you order they just pour it out for you. The second ball and the third ball. Round two and round three. Hmm. They have 400 options of this. No, they don't. They have 999. No, they have 400. No. But you see, the number is not um, consistent. Yeah, so I know. the jump numbers. No. Oh! No, is it out? Oh, it's out. 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 Oh, it's Oh, 
Huh? Just like zoom in. Oh. I still don't know what I want. I tried that one. 